So Netflix and Marvel, I think, have been doing a fantastic job with their series so far. With Daredevil, we've got a dark and gritty, almost noir, uh, Frank Miller type show. With Jessica Jones, we got a tough, no-nonsense superheroine who um, is also kind of a flawed figure. And then with Luke Cage, we got almost a revamp of the 1970s black exploitation films in modern Harlem. Then came Iron Fist. Um, I've seen a lot of people going both ways on this. Apparently the critics, who have only seen the first six episodes, really did not care for it. And a lot of fans have been giving it a lot more praise. So I kind of wanted to weigh in on some of my thoughts on the whole thing. Um, starting with what I thought was really good were a lot of the background or side characters. Um, Jessica Henwick as Colleen Wynn, who is an Asian actress, uh, plays almost like a sidekick character, but she gets her own stories. She gets some good fight scenes. Um, she gets some really good stuff to work with. Uh, the Meachams, which were the other part of the Rand Corporation that the main character is trying to get back, I think all of them are fantastic. Um, Joy probably being one of the weaker ones, but she still turns in some some good stuff, and she has kind of a little a uh, nice little arc going on. Um, of course, one of my favorite is, and I'm going to try and pronounce this this poor lady's name. Wai Ching Ho uh, plays Madame Gao, who is returning from the Daredevil series, and I think she's just a fun character. I mean, even back in Daredevil. It's just this little old lady hobbling around on a cane, but you knew something was up. And then she pulled this Wei Chung move and threw Daredevil across the room and said she had to, to disappear to some city. And now she's back and she's playing mind games and you never quite know where she's coming from, what her game is. Uh, I think she just does a fantastic job. Uh, Rosario Dawson, of course, as Claire Temple... The night nurse, um, she's kind of been, aside from the hand, which is the ninja organization, she's kind of been the one thing holding all of these series together. I think she's the only one that's been in all four of them so far. Oh, and there goes the cat. Um, in the series itself, I really liked a couple of things. There are a lot of Game of Thrones references. Uh, two of the stars, Finn Jones and Jessica Henwick, of course, are in Game of Thrones as uh, Sir Loras Tyrell and one of the Sand Snakes, respectively. Um, and of course, sitting here, I can't remember all of the references, but the one that made me laugh, the one that first got to me was when Danny Rand is about to get into a fight in the institution and somebody looks at him and says, the Meacham send their regards. Like, that's... I had a nice little chuckle at that. And I think his one of his buddies' his names is Davos. I don't remember if that's from the comic or not, but Davos was another character from Game of Thrones. Um, they bring a lot of fun other characters into it that come in for like maybe one or two episodes. One of my personal favorites is a hand assassin they call in. And when you first meet this guy, he's at a karaoke bar and there's all these people just dead lying around him and he's singing Aha Take On Me. And I just thought that was fantastic. Uh, I loved it. And I was hoping there'd be a little bit more of him in the series. Unfortunately, there wasn't. Um, and then, of course, some of the fight scenes were really good. Uh, one of my personal favorites was when they were in Japan. Um, and there was the, the drunk character who's sitting in the doorway. And Danny's trying to get past him. And this guy says, no, I can't, I can't let you pass. I can't let you pass. I have to guard the doorway. And you see him kind of stumble up with this gourd bottle. I knew exactly what was coming, and I got what I wanted. It was a drunken master fight. Um, a type of fighting that mimics or sometimes uses uh, drunken swerving and hand motions, and it looks just kind of bumbling, but it's, it's almost very efficient. Um, there's a Jackie Chan movie where he does some of that, and it's it's just fun. I loved it. I really enjoyed that. Um, there was a few fights towards the end that I really liked. Um, I remember at one point seeing Colleen 
run around with her broken sword. I thought that was pretty cool that she she kept this broken sword and she was still using that. Her cage fights uh, were a lot of fun, just vicious, dirty, and she did not hold back on those. And now I got to get to what I think did not work out quite so well. And the first thing being Finn Jones as Danny Rand. Now I want to go ahead and address the 300 pound gorilla in the room. A lot of the complaints that were being lobbed against the show is that they were <clears throat> casting a Caucasian male into the lead role. Danny Rand was a blonde Caucasian male. If you go back and look at the comic books, that's who he was then. So them casting Finn Jones in this role was not out of line. If Danny Rand in the comics had been a Japanese American and they cast Finn Jones, I could see the complaint being a little more strongly based. But the fact that he was a blonde Caucasian in the comics, and that's how they made him in the series, it, it doesn't really give much of an argument. Um, could they have cast an Asian American? Could they have cast an African American in the role? They could have, but they didn't. They went with the source material. So, I don't think that is quite the problem. I know that was not the problem for me. Um, and to be fair, I thought Finn Jones did a good job, uh, especially at the beginning. I really liked the Danny Rand character. He was excited. He was almost like a kid coming back to an old house or an old tree fort or something. He was excited. He wanted to meet people. He wanted to get involved with the company um, and he was motivated. He was ready to go. Uh, I also loved that he kept telling people who he was. You know, like Daredevil can't go around telling people on Daredevil because people have heard of this Daredevil that's running around and it would wreak havoc for Matt Murdock. No one's ever heard of the Iron Fist. But there's Danny Rand going up to people with all the gravitas in the world going, I'm the Iron Fist. Okay, and I thought that was amusing. Um, 